In this video, I am going to help you get your website on the internet so that anyone, your mom, your brother, me, you, we can all see it anywhere. That's the goal. So to do that, we're going to need to sign up for some hosting. I'm going to set you up with a HostGator account. I'm going to even give you a free first month with a coupon that they gave me. I'm going to share that with you. And along the way, we'll learn some new terminology and some new ideas of just, just how to get a website live. At the end, you will have your website live. Pretty good deal, right? Now, it's fair to say that there are a bajillion different hosting companies out there. Like literally the first time I did this, I went through about like five or six and probably, how do you say, 1% of a bajillion. Anyways, most of them are horrible. But, but, but there, there are a few that I do like. There's Bluehost, there's Media Temple, there's Rackspace, which is a little bit too much to narrow for our pockets right now, um, but they're great. And the one that we are going to go with is HostGator. I'm going to show you the steps to get this set up. Um, by the end of this, you'll have uh, an, an account with HostGator. And um, anything we learned here is pretty much transferable to a lot of these different sites. So at the end of the day, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. But if you want to follow along with this lesson, you're going to want to watch and use HostGator. So let's get doing it. Uh, to get started with HostGator, you want to click the button that says get started. <laughs> Once we do that, uh, we're going to choose a plan. Now, when you sign up for hosting, there's a variety of plans, or always is. I like to go with the baby plan, not only because it's adorable, but because you get unlimited domains, which is pretty sweet versus this one here, the hatchling, which has single. So the difference there is that right now, if you hook up your site, if I hook up chriscustiglione.com, which I don't own, and we put it here, I would have one site that I'm hosting for a little bit more with the baby plan. If I get more sites, if I take my mom's uh, site and I wanna put it there, I make a new blog or a new business in a few weeks or a year from now, I can have all of the domains point to this one hosting. It saves you a lot of money in organization. So that's one of the big differentiators here. Um, this is called a shared hosting plan. I'm gonna have unlimited domains on this box up in the sky somewhere. So hopefully that sounds good to you. Uh, let's keep going. So I am clicking on that, and this is the page that you will fill out to get the account. It's I'll just kind of scan down it. It's, whoa, we don't wanna do this. Why is that so much money? Um, because I think I signed up for way too many months. So if that happened to you, you can just kind of skip down to the billing cycle and we can just do one month if you want at a time. One month, yay. All right, back up to the top. So here's how this works. Um, the domain, you have an option. If you already have a domain, like if you own, like I own right now, castig.org, right? So if I was gonna transfer that domain to HostGator, I would just say, hey, I already, I already own this domain and I would just keep moving on with the cycle here. So that's cool if you already have a domain. Uh, I can put another video after this um, in the bonus to, to uh, show you how to hook up if you already have a domain. So that's kind of one scenario, but you would just put your domain here and continue with the form. Now, if you don't have a domain name, you get the opportunity to register a new one, yeah? So if you wanted to register a new one, um, if you wanted to say like, happy birthday, forever.com and then I just kind of click is that available hell yeah happy birthday forever every day is your birthday that's a pretty good one I'm not gonna buy it either maybe I will buy it let's see what happens um, so then we could get this and then we get the one month thing there we're gonna choose a username Stigs, da, 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 da. put in a security pin, it's like one, two, three, four, or whatever. Oh, that works. Uh, fill out all this junk here, put your credit card in. You don't need any of this stuff unless you know that you need it, but otherwise it's probably just junky stuff you don't need. I don't usually buy it. Um, for the coupon code here, you can put in the coupon code that's down below. I believe it's one month code. Let's see if that works. Uh, Yes, and then you have your account. Yeah, so everything looks pretty great there. Um, the reason, so it, it's a free month of hosting. If you didn't have the domain, if you weren't buying the domain, it would be zero. Um, I'm buying the domain for 12 there, but if you had one already, and you, you will need one, like if I do mine here, 
Da, 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 da. Got that. It just knows that it's I'm bringing it over. You'll see it only be one cent. So you have that option, uh, but you will need a domain to make this work. You can't use hosting without a domain. In some cases, you can use an IP address, but I think for all intents and purposes here, you're going to want a domain. So go ahead and do that, and then read the stuff, and then check out, and click check out. What's going to happen, this is the end, what's going to happen is you're going to get an email, and the email will have all of your login information that you are going to need so that you can send your stuff up to the web. So that's the drill. Go ahead and fill that out, check this out, and then check out your email, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. See you then. Good luck.